Number one question that we get on trucks, how much do they tow? Most salespeople can't answer that. We have to look up, we have to guess, but now on the 2019 Silverados, every single truck has got something that no other truck has on the market. We're gonna talk about it in this video. Welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited to do this video because this is a video that I've been putting off for no reason. It's a simple video to do and I want to bring it to you because the number one question that we as salespeople get asked by consumers, how much can this truck pull? It's an extremely important question, especially if you are towing all the time. Now where most people don't tow all the time and most people tow only about 6,000 pounds max, we've got those customers who do tow all the time and we need to make sure that we have the correct information. Now most salespeople will sit here and tell you a number that they probably don't have a whole lot of confidence in or even know that it's actual truth. This is a 2018 Silverado. This is a 2018 Silverado. And I would have to go do a little bit of research to make sure that this truck has got the right equipment to tow the right amount, even though I know what the max trailering is on a four wheel drive, two wheel drive in my head. This is a 2019 truck. This is a 2019 truck. And this is a 2019 truck. And I can get my phone out, use my calculator, and tell you exactly what each one of these trucks pulls in about 10 seconds, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. There are all sorts of stickers located on your new vehicle when you're purchasing it, new and or used. You always have the VIN sticker, which is located down there. You always have the tire information right there. Those are both VIN specific to the vehicle. And now, industry exclusive, by Chevrolet and GMC is this trailering information sticker located on the inside of the driver's door. Now this sticker where it has a whole lot of numbers on it is actually gonna be very helpful to you when you buy, borrow, or rent a Silverado to tow something. And I'm gonna share with you in this video exactly how to use those numbers so that way you know you're not getting the wrong truck. I'm using this truck behind me because we have installed accessories on this showroom truck. So it is very important when I talk about this down the road in this video of knowing what you have installed accessory wise or have inside the vehicle because we have added tonneau cover, we have added wheels, we have added steps that do not come from the factory that are not on that window sticker. And then of course, now the new Silverados have all sorts of cool things and gadgets that you can put inside here to sit here and haul your belongings as well. So what you have stored inside those is extremely important to know as well. So I'm pretty much done for the day here at the dealership. We're gonna head home and I'm gonna use my whiteboard there to explain all of these numbers so that way you can be out there and not have to ask the salesperson exactly how much a vehicle can tow. So here we are and I have wrote all these numbers out to conserve a little bit of time in this video. But before I begin, if you shop on Amazon, there's a great way you can support this channel by bookmarking the link in the description of the Amazon store and using that every time you go there. It supports this channel directly every time you buy something on Amazon. And of course you can get your Chevy Dude swag at ChevyDudeStore.com. Um, this shirt just launched in there and it's really, really awesome. So uh, all these numbers are on this sticker on the inside of the door. You can see there's six different numbers on here. We have GBWR, we have GCWR, we have GAWR, max payload, max tongue weight, and we have curb weight. All those numbers do have a huge meaningful of when you're towing something, when you're hauling something, so on and so forth. So we're just talking about towing in this particular vi video. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna take your GCWR and subtract your curb weight. So that's the second number and the last number on that sticker. And we have 9,929 pounds left that we can tow with this truck. Then you want to account for your people, your cargo, and any miscellaneous stuff. If you have something in the bed, if you have tools stored in the truck, whatever the case may be, if you have one person, two people, three people, five, four, five, six people, whatever the case may be, whatever that number is, you gotta subtract that. In this case, I use 350 pounds because that could be a couple good sized people or one person and a bunch of junk or whatever the case may be. So we're right over 9,500 pounds there. Um, just rounded a 500 pound tongue weight. So we took that out, we're at 9,079 pounds. So added equipment. I showed you that truck earlier in the video and that truck has some accessories on it that we put on our showroom floor truck to show people what they can do to trucks. So that truck did not come with those steps with those 22 inch 
wheels or the tonneau cover and the under seat storage. All of those have some sort of weight going to the truck. You have to take in accountability for stuff like that. So if you put steps on, if you put bed, bed covers on or whatever the case may be, make sure you understand what those approximately weigh so that way you can account for those. I'm using zero to keep this demonstration very simple. Um, and then, so we're still at 9,079 pounds. Make sure that you take an account for like your draw bar, equalizer bars, all of that stuff as well in this area here of the hitch. So I'm just using 10 pounds in this case because it's basically a, a simple receiver that most of the times people take an account for. So this truck can tow, I did this wrong, I added 10 there. This truck can tow 9,069 pounds uh, the way we have it set up in this demonstration. So basically you take your GCWR, you subtract your curb weight, and then you subtract your people, cargo, etc., out of there. Take out your tongue weight. Take out your added equipment. You take out your hitch and accessories. And that equals your max trailer weight. Very, very simple to do based off of having this sticker on the inside of your doors.